hit has to pay respects, you know? Oh, hey, Jim. How's it going? Oh, hey. Dude, what's wrong? Yeah, my keyboard's not working. I don't know what's going on. I mean, did you do something to it, or...? Well, I mean, I, I just, like, spray loop. No. <sighs> you did not. Jim, I, I didn't want to desolder my board. I mean, come on, man. I just wanted to save some time. Okay, I it at least like some of it works, right? Like some of the keys work? A couple of them. Yeah. The board doesn't work. Jim. But like, listen to it. I told you not to spray lube. Hippio told you not to spray lube. Great, right? What are you doing? Oh my God, we got to get Hippio on this, dude. It's great. Howdy, I'm Hippio Tech, and today, I'm here to save you from the dangers of spray lubing. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about spray lubing, why you shouldn't do it, and why you've known it all wrong this whole time. Stay tuned, and maybe I'll have something a little bit special for you at the end of this video. So first, what is spray lubing? Well, spray lubing is a method of lubing your keyboard that was popularized by YouTubers. So I feel like I have a little bit of blame here as, guess what? I've made spray lubing videos before, I've spray lubed before, and previously, I didn't think it was that bad of a method. So, I feel some responsibility, now that I've researched it more, and know more, to tell you about why you shouldn't spray lube. So, spray lubing was popularized by the YouTuber Wildcat. Now, big disclaimer here, I absolutely love Wildcat, he was one of my inspirations for starting YouTube, and it's a method that even he said you probably shouldn't do in most of his videos. So then why are people doing it? Because it's been proposed as an alternative to desoldering your keyboard and brush lubing it. Well, the traditional method of desoldering and brush lubing can take anywhere from four to 10 hours if you're really, really slow. Heck, even if you're not lazy, that kind of sucks. Spray lubing, great idea, right? It saves you time, you can lube your board in an hour, and you don't have to desolder. Pretty cool, yes, if there wasn't a massive stinky elephant in the room. What's this massive stinky elephant in the room? Well, hi, I'm Alfred Spray Lube, and I have spray lubed over 10 boards, and all of my boards sound really good. Hey Alfred, how many of your boards work? Only two of them work. Please help. So why shouldn't you spray lube, you ask? Ah, thanks for asking, because I was going to have to explain that without you asking anyways. Number one, it can break your board. As you've seen with my PewDiePie keyboard video, this board was very, very broken. It gave my keyboard a lot of input issues. Now you might ask, how does spray lubing break a board? Well, let me tell you, great question. You're asking so many good questions. You're just so nice. That's great. Let me tell you how it'll break a board. Yep. I'm not 1000% sure of this. This is just my opinion of why it'll break your board. This spray lube solution, when not dispersed correctly, or maybe just because it's in a bad mood, temperature, or a ton of other variables can gunk up the contacts of your switch. When it gunks up the contacts of your switch, guess what? When you press down your switch, you get nothing. Breaking a board with spray lubing is a variety of input issues, but I boil it down to it will break your board because it's a little bit easier to explain. A variety of input issues is not something you necessarily want to deal with when your only goal is saving time. Because guess what? Troubleshooting those issues and fixing this board took more time than just desoldering it and brush lubing. Bruh. You could do everything right, and you could still break your board. I've spray lubed over three boards myself, and I've had issues with three, three of them. This could mean that you spray lube and it works perfectly, but when the uh. core goal is saving time by not having to desolder your board, do you really want to take that risk? Ultimately, that's up to you, but that's why I won't recommend it, and why I will tell people don't spray lube. <laughs> Here's where I'm a little bit conflicted, right? I support people experimenting in this hobby, even if it's at the expense of breaking their own board. So I'll add a little caveat here. Don't spray lube unless you are perfectly comfortable with breaking your board and in the pursuit of knowledge. Now the next thing you're gonna wonder, oh, but a lot of YouTubers have done it and never had any issues. And a lot of people in Korea do it and they have no issues. That's a great point. Let's talk about that. This here, is a bottle of spray lube, super lube. This is what gets recommended 
Most people will link to this in their description and get those juicy affiliate revenues. The spray lube that's used in Korea? Well, guess what? I'm gonna just like drop a bomb real fast. It's counterfeit. Here's why. You hear that? You hear how there's no clanking noises? Now let me play you a clip. Clanking noises. Interesting, right? You'd think, oh, okay, so they just use a different dispersion method in Korea. And that's what I thought too at first. So I got in contact with Wildcat. And we did a little bit of sleuthing and research to get to the bottom of this. Now, I have no bad blood towards Wildcat, and I thought he was amazingly helpful in this. But get this, he's never broken a board doing it. Why? Now, this is just my personal thoughts, but I think the counterfeit Korean spray lube is actually better. Now, I tried to get my hands on it for this video, but allegedly shipping explosive chemicals overseas is a little bit illegal? I can't show you it, and I can't spray lube aboard with it, but anyone in Korea that knows how to do it legally, hit me up. So, I did even more sleuthing. With the help of Wildcat, we sent emails to the Superlube team and the team in Korea that was responsible for making the Korean cans. And what did we find out, you might ask? Well, with some of these emails, you can see very clearly that it's counterfeit. The bottles used in Korea are not genuine Superlube bottles. What does this mean, right? Here's what I think. I think the ball bearing and potentially a different formula is what makes the Korean version work, as they really don't have many issues with breaking boards in Korea. So the argument that, oh, well, it works for these people doesn't necessarily apply here, as anyone outside of Korea does not have access to the formula that allegedly works. There's another reason why you shouldn't be using it. So to summarize, the spray lube used in Korea and by Wildcat is counterfeit spray lube, and that's not spray lube we have access to. Therefore, we shouldn't be spray lubing because we don't have access to the one that we know works. We got b -b 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 bonus argument. I see a lot of people saying that you can spray lube optical switches, and I'll be entirely honest with you. I know absolutely nothing about spray lubing optical switches, and I haven't done it. I will say that if the issue of what breaks switches is truly the contact leaf, then potentially optical switches would work. Now, here's a caveat, and maybe why we need more research, and why you probably shouldn't do it if it's your only keyboard. We don't actually know what spray lubing an optical PCB would do, at least, in enough scale. Maybe I'll do this in a future video, but hold off on your optical switches. Just brush lube them by hand. I've done it before in videos like this one, and they've been pretty good. Pretty good, right? Also, most optical boards are hot swap anyways, so you're really only saving yourself about 30 minutes to an hour of time. Maybe let's just, let's just, let's just not spray lube, guys. Let's just not. Bruh. <laughs> okay, so we talked about what spray lubing is and why you shouldn't spray lube. And we even got into some fun things on the way. If you still don't believe me and you still want a spray lube, well, I have one more thing for you that I prepared. I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna just let it run. Bruh. Hi, I'm Alfred Spray Lube again, and Hippio showed me the way and he fixed my keyboard. Isn't that great? I'm here to tell you about today's sponsor, Hippio Tech. Because he fixed my keyboard, I have to shill for him now. Do you want to support the Hippio Tech channel and get really cool merch like this carry all pouch? Wow. Guess what? I put I put my lube in there. I don't spray lube anymore. <laughs> Then you can click that link down below to go to Hippiotech's Spreadshirt store. There you can get really, really dope merch. So click that link down below and go support Hippiotech and then I don't have to spray lube anymore. Huh. Now I get asked a lot whether or not spray lubing is a good idea. And for those people, I made a little song for you. So, Anyways, here it goes. Stop, bro, put down the can. What are you trying to do? You're gonna break it, man. Bro. Spray Lupin ain't smart, it won't save you time. Don't do it, listen to Hippie Yo, my mind. But I don't wanna. Now, you're telling me, oh, Hippie Yo is gonna work while you're killing me, bro. Listen, you could go and do everything right and still break your board, and that's a lot more expensive, a lot more time wasted, time invested. Oh, but Hippio, a YouTuber did it. Well, listen, man, we got a lot of boards to break. We really don't care if we break one. I mean, come on. Don't spray loose. Don't spray loose. Seriously, man. Don't spray loose. I don't care if Tejon does.
Jesus, don't spray lube. Bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can use cry talks. Spray lube and breaks your board. You don't want to do that. Spray lube and breaks your board. You don't want to do that. Spray lube and breaks your board. You don't want to do that. Spray lube and breaks your board. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that, man. It's going to break your board. This has been Hippio Tech trying to tell you not to spray lube your keyboard. You know, you really shouldn't. That'd be a bad idea. And a special thank you to the members of the Hippio Chosen tier. Platty Plat, Cody J, Not Sus, and Aquarius. Thanks again, you guys.